Bro, get the fuck away from here. Like, turn around. Bro, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it's gonna crash, bro. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Came their day. UPS Flight 2976 wasn't the first crash of the MD-11. In fact, it was just one in a long line of disasters. With 50 crashes under its belt, this plane's history is darker than you think. Wait until you hear the deadly incidents that came before it. On November 8, 2025, the Federal Aviation Administration issued Emergency Airworthiness Directive AD 2025-2351, grounding every MD-11 aircraft worldwide. The directive prohibits further flight until inspections of engine pylons and attachment structures are completed. Within hours, UPS grounded its 26 MD-11's FedEx suspended operations of its 28 aircraft and Western Global Airlines complied with its remaining fleet. The MD-11 has accumulated 50 aviation incidents since 1990, including 11 hull loss accidents, resulting in 261 fatalities. This includes 245 passengers and crew members, plus 16 grand fatalities. Only 200 MD-11 aircraft were manufactured between 1990 and 2000. The aircraft holds the highest hull loss rate among all wide-body commercial airliners at 3.12 per million flights. This exceeds the DC-10, Boeing 747, Boeing 767, Boeing 777, and all Airbus wide-body designs. According to the National Transportation Safety Board, the MD-11 demonstrated the highest rate of hard landing events among 27 large Western-built aircraft types, recording 5.63 hard landings per 1 million flight cycles. On April 6, 1993, China Eastern Airlines Flight 583 experienced severe oscillations over the Pacific Ocean near the Aleutian Islands. A crew member accidentally deployed the leading-edge slats during cruise flight. Two passengers died from injuries sustained during the violent maneuvers. The National Transportation Safety Board investigation revealed that the slat and flap lever design in the MD-11 cockpit was prone to accidental displacement. The most deadly MD-11 accident occurred on September 2, 1998, when Swiss Air Flight 111 crashed into the Atlantic Ocean approximately 50 miles southwest of Halifax, Nova Scotia. All 229 people on board perished. The Transportation Safety Board of Canada investigation determined that an in-flight fire originated from improper wiring of the in-flight entertainment system. The fire spread rapidly due to poor flame retardant properties of insulation materials used in the aircraft's construction. On August 22, 1999, China Airlines Flight 642 crashed during landing at Hong Kong International Airport in high crosswinds associated with Tropical Storm Sam. The MD-11 struck the runway, came to rest inverted, and caught fire. Three passengers died. On March 23, 2009, FedEx Express Flight 80 crashed while landing at Narita International Airport in Tokyo during strong wind conditions. The aircraft bounced upon touchdown. On the second impact, it banked sharply, snapping the left wing on the ground and rupturing a fuel tank. The MD-11 rolled onto its back and caught fire. Both pilots were killed. John DeLisi, Deputy Director of Aviation Safety at the National Transportation Safety Board, stated in a 2010 interview with Popular Mechanics, I've never heard of a landing flipover with any other type of airliner. The MD-11 has done it three times. On November 28, 2009, Aviant Aviation Flight 324 crashed during takeoff from Shanghai, China. The MD-11 freighter gained minimal altitude before impacting approach lights and antennas. Three of the seven crew members died. Investigation findings pointed to insufficient thrust, delayed crew response, and crew fatigue. The MD-11 design features a horizontal stabilizer reduced by approximately 30% compared to its predecessor, the DC-10. The DC-10 horizontal tail measured 1,338 square feet, while the MD-11's measures 920 square feet. 
This reduction decreased weight and drag, but also reduced longitudinal stability. Engineers installed an automatic system to move elevators on the stabilizers to compensate for unwanted pitching. However, the aircraft developed a reputation for unexpected motion, particularly in turbulent conditions. Ken Adams, an air safety investigator and former Delta MD-11 pilot, told Popular Mechanics, In windy conditions, the MD-11 can be a bear to land. The National Transportation Safety Board determined that MD-11 controls are more sensitive than other aircraft, especially at low speeds and altitudes. Pilots reported instances where the autopilot failed to disconnect when manual controls were input. The landing speed of the MD-11 is 20 to 30 miles per hour higher than the MD-10, meaning situations develop more rapidly. During the Newark crash investigation in 1997, the National Transportation Safety Board found that energy transmitted to the right main landing gear during the second touchdown was 3.2 times greater than the MD-11's maximum certified tolerance. The aircraft serving UPS Flight 2976 was a 34-year-old jet, registration N259UP. The aircraft had recently undergone heavy maintenance checks in San Antonio. National Transportation Safety Board member Todd Inman confirmed during a November 6, 2025 briefing that data showed the jet climbed to approximately 100 feet above ground level before crashing. Security footage from Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport showed the left engine detaching from the wing during the takeoff roll. The engine was later found on grass beside runway 17R. The aircraft became airborne briefly before the left wing erupted in flames. It struck the roof of a UPS supply chain warehouse, creating a 300-foot gash. The left wing then hit fuel tanks at Kentucky Petroleum Recycling, causing an explosion. The aircraft rolled more than 90 degrees before crashing into a semi-truck parking area and auto scrapyard. The aircraft carried approximately 38,000 gallons of fuel, weighing about 233,000 pounds. Louisville Fire Chief Brian O'Neill stated that the fuel load contributed to the intensity of the fire. The debris field stretched for half a mile. More than 200 first responders, including 100 firefighters, responded to the scene. Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg reported on November 6 that six of the initially reported 15 missing people had been accounted for. By November 8, officials believed the missing individuals had been located. The grounding of approximately 70 active MD-11 freighters disrupted overnight cargo operations at major U.S. airports, including Memphis, Dallas, Fort Worth and Ontario, California. TAC Index reported that global air freight rates had risen 2% in the week preceding the crash. The Emergency Airworthiness Directive requires operators to conduct detailed visual and ultrasonic inspections of all three engine pylons. Most MD-11 aircraft now exceed 30 years of age and 50,000 flight cycles. The MD-11's accident record exceeds that of comparable aircraft operating similar missions. The Boeing 777 freighter fleet has flown four times the number of flights as the MD-11, yet the MD-11 exceeds the 777 in hull losses. The crew members killed were identified as Captain Richard Wartenberg, First Officer Lee Truitt, and International Relief Officer Captain Dana Diamond. With 11 hull loss accidents from 200 aircraft produced, a rate more than triple that of comparable wide-body designs, the safety case for continued MD-11 operations faces substantial challenges. Something terrifying happened in the skies over Georgia. A Turkish military plane suddenly dropped from the clouds, leaving a trail of white smoke before exploding into a giant fireball. It vanished near the Azerbaijan-Georgia border and no distress call was ever made. What happened inside that aircraft in its final moments has left everyone searching for answers. The Lockheed C-130 Hercules departed from Azerbaijan and was en route back to Turkey when contact was lost shortly after entering Georgian airspace. Flight Radar 24 tracking data confirmed the aircraft's sudden disappearance from radar systems. 
Video footage circulating on social media captured the final moments the plane descending in an uncontrolled spiral with white smoke streaming from its fuselage before impact. The crash site lies in the mountainous terrain near the border region between Azerbaijan and Georgia. Turkey's defense ministry confirmed the incident within hours. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan released a statement offering condolences and referring to the victims as martyrs. According to Reuters, Erdogan stated the nation mourns the loss of its servicemen. The Turkish Armed Forces announced that a joint search and rescue operation was immediately launched in coordination with Georgian and Azerbaijani authorities. Ground teams and helicopters were dispatched to the remote crash location to recover remains and investigate the wreckage. Georgian officials confirmed their participation in the joint operation. Azerbaijan's government also expressed solidarity and provided logistical support for the search effort. The three nations have maintained close military and economic ties, particularly regarding regional security and energy transportation. This air corridor serves as a vital link for Turkey's military logistics operations, connecting Ankara to the South Caucasus region. The C-130 Hercules is a four-engine turboprop military transport aircraft manufactured by Lockheed Martin. It has been in service since 1956 and remains one of the longest continuously produced military aircraft in history. The Turkish Air Force operates multiple variants of the C-130, using them for cargo transport, troop deployment and humanitarian missions. The aircraft can carry up to 92 ground troops or 64 paratroopers, though this particular flight was transporting 20 military personnel. No distress signal was transmitted before the crash, according to AP News. This absence of communication suggests either a sudden catastrophic failure or an incident that incapacitated the crew before they could issue a mayday call. Aviation experts note that the white smoke visible in video footage could indicate engine failure, fire or structural damage. The spiral descent pattern typically suggests loss of control, which can result from multiple scenarios, including mechanical failure, loss of hydraulic systems, or damage to flight control surfaces. Weather conditions in the region were reported as clear at the time of the crash. Georgian meteorological data indicated no severe weather patterns that would have posed a threat to aviation. Visibility was good, and wind speeds were within normal operational parameters for C-130 flights. This rules out weather as an immediate contributing factor and shifts investigative focus toward mechanical or other technical causes. The crash occurred along a route integral to Turkey's regional military presence. Turkey maintains close defense ties with Azerbaijan, particularly following the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Turkish military advisors and equipment have regularly transited this corridor. The route also serves civilian and commercial aviation, making it a strategically important airspace for multiple nations. Any disruption to this corridor raises questions about airspace security and the vulnerability of military transport operations in the region. Investigation teams from Turkey, Georgia and Azerbaijan are working together to determine the cause. Black box flight recorders, if recovered intact, will provide critical data about the aircraft's final moments. Investigators will examine engine performance, flight control inputs, and any anomalies in the aircraft systems. The wreckage will be analyzed for signs of structural failure, fire damage, or external interference. Turkish authorities have not ruled out any potential causes at this stage. This incident marks a significant loss for Turkey's military aviation forces. The C-130 fleet forms the backbone of the Turkish Air Force's transport capabilities. Turkey operates approximately 13 C-130 variants across different models. The loss of one aircraft and 20 trained personnel represents both operational and human cost. Military cargo flights typically involve experienced crews given the nature of the missions and the aircraft systems involved. Regional security analysts are monitoring the incident closely. The South Caucasus remains a geopolitically sensitive region. Armenia, Azerbaijan, Georgia and Turkey maintain complex relationships shaped by historical conflicts, energy politics, and great power competition. Any military incident in this area draws attention from Russia, Iran, the European Union, and NATO. Turkey's dual role as a NATO member and regional power makes this crash relevant beyond immediate bilateral relations. This incident follows two other notable cargo aircraft crashes in recent months. On October 14, 2024, 
a UPS McDonnell Douglas MD-11 cargo plane crashed shortly after takeoff from Dubai International Airport, killing the two pilots on board. The aircraft experienced a catastrophic fire in the cargo hold that overwhelmed the crew. In September 2024, a cargo aircraft operated by a Hong Kong-based airline crashed during approach to Hong Kong International Airport amid challenging weather conditions, resulting in multiple fatalities. Both incidents prompted renewed scrutiny of cargo aircraft safety protocols and emergency procedures. Aviation authorities worldwide have emphasized the importance of robust fire suppression systems and crew training for cargo operations following these events.